Hey YouTube, I wanted to do a quick video review of the newest 2022 Inkvent Calendar Green Edition. Um, I made quite a few mistakes last year. I unboxed it on film and it was a humongous mess because last year they wrapped these things in plastic. They did the same thing this year. So this year I got a little smarter and I decided to just go ahead and unbox them. Put a little piece of tape on the back so I know which number it is. Um... And it will make things go a lot quicker and hopefully a little bit smoother um, and make it a little less boring. So the first color that we're going to do a swatch of is called Bliss. And it is, from what I can tell, a blue. It's a standard ink, so there's no uh, shimmer or any kind of a sense or chameleon properties or anything like that in this one. So, the paper that I'm using is Endless Recorder paper. And, um, I'm just going to do a little swatch of each of these just to give you guys an idea of what they look like. Um, so, definitely going to be a spoiler video. If you don't want to know what's going to be in your ink vent, I wouldn't recommend watching it. Um, I'm just going to put the number below these because that way it'll make it a little bit easier um, if you want to go back and reference the video or we'll just get like a, a shot of which ones are which, then you can do that. Um, the second one that we have is a brown ink. It's called Yule Log. Um, it says that this one is a shimmer. So we're going to give it a little bit of a shake um, just so we can get some of the shimmer particulates mixed up. And I've already gotten ink on my knuckle, which is brilliant. That's what I get for trying to use both ends of the Q-tip. Oh, wow. This one's a really unique color. I have to admit, number one, I've probably seen similar things to that before, but number two is definitely very interesting. Um, let me just put their names below them. Okay, so number two is Yule Log, and it is a really, really pretty brown. I've never seen a brown quite like this. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist, so um, don't throw stones at me <laughs> if you've got one that looks exactly like it. it. Looking at it now that it's dried, it does kind of remind me of a, of a Sailor ink. I can't remember the name of it, but the... The color of it, the lighter colors of it, kind of remind me. I'm wanting to say it's like 280 or something like that. I may be wrong. Um, but it's a really muted brown, and the shimmer in it is gold. So the next one that we're going to be looking at is one that's called Solar Storm. It is a chameleon one, so we're going to have to give it a little bit of a shake as well because it does have some shimmer in there. This year they did a little bit uh, different, you know, because uh, they've got the chameleon and the shimmers and the sheens. And then they have some that are scented. Um, I don't think they did a whole lot of scented ones. Um, looking at my little reference sheet that I've made myself, it looks like there's only maybe two that are scented. Um, so, for people who maybe have uh, allergies to scent... Hopefully that won't be a problem for you. Um, in my experience, most inks that do have scent, the scent usually wears off very, very quickly. So I don't think that it will be a huge issue. Um, but that one is the Solar Storm. It looks like it is kind of a purple. Um, and it definitely has some different glitter in there. Um, I can't really tell what color the glitter is. It almost looks like it's different different hues. Um, like I see some glitter that might look like it leans a little bit gold. But some looks like it might lean a little bit more green. Um, so that one's definitely a unique one. The next one that we're going to be looking at is a scented one. It's called Spruce. Uh, so I'm assuming that this one's probably going to smell a little bit like Christmas tree perhaps. Maybe I could be wrong. 
Um, it does smell a little bit like a Christmas tree. I can't really say that they hit the nail perfectly on the head, but it does smell a little bit like a Christmas tree. And it's a pretty green. It's very beautiful. It's not, um, not a color that I would hate using, so... I like that pretty good. Let's see. The next one is going to be one that's called Spiced Apple. Um, this one is another chameleon. You can see all the particulate in the bottom, the shimmer, or the mica, I think is what they call it. Um, but we're going to give this just a little bit of a shake so we can hopefully get some of that on the paper just to get kind of an idea of what it's going to look like. Of course, anybody who's into fountain pens, you know, these are always going to look different in a pen. Um, swatches always have a way of just looking so beautiful on the paper. That's not to say that they don't when they come out in the pen, but you're getting something that's a lot more saturated when you're doing it on the paper. So, of course, it's going to be, most of the time, it's going to be more vibrant. And again, that is day five, and that is Spiced Apple. All right, moving on to day six. So this one is called Ghost. Um, from the label, it looks like it could be like a muted purple or a silver, maybe even a gray. Um, I'm not really sure yet, so I've not... I have not swatched any of these before this video. So this is my first time seeing them all as well. Um, I do want to mention, because I forgot to, I'm sorry. The Spiced Apple is a really beautiful red, as I'm sure that you can see on the camera. But if, in case you cannot see it on the camera, the shimmer is definitely gold leaning. Um, now the next one that we're looking at, Ghost, is a standard ink. So it does not have any kind of special properties. Um, and it does look like it's a gray. So, yeah. Um, no sheening or shimmer or chameleon properties or scents in this one. It's just a standard ink. Um, does look like it's a gray. I will say this much about Diamine um, or Diamine, however you want to pronounce it. They do very well with grays. Um, I don't think I've had a gray ink from them that I've not liked a little bit. I'm double checking these these caps um, do not want to have any spillage so this one um, for day seven is going to be called alpine and it is a shimmer this is going to be another green better give it a little bit of a quick shake from looking at the bottom of the the jar here the little bottle looks like the particulate is going to be definitely silver perhaps from what I can see so we'll see how it looks. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. But last year I felt like it was a really long video. And I don't want to bore anyone. I know that most people are here for one purpose. And that's if you're debating getting the calendar. Um, maybe to see the colors. Or if you're not really going to get the calendar. But you just want to see what colors they are going to have. Um, most people don't want to stick around for two hours watching you unbox stuff so <laughs> um that one's day seven and it is definitely a lighter green as i'm sure that you can see and the shimmer is definitely silver um so yeah it's definitely silver so far out of these seven i am really 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 enjoying um the Yule Log and the Spiced Apple a lot. This is actually a very beautiful gray and I really like Solar System. I have a funny feeling that these are probably going to be similarly popular colors. This blue is very beautiful. Um, I just feel like blues get kind of overdone. Um, there's a lot of blue is what I'm trying to say. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that because blue is a beautiful color and most people typically like that color. It's very popular. Um, so nothing against it. It's just that there's just a lot of them. So this is going to be day eight. 
Uh, this is a color called Jingle Berry. And it does not have any special properties. It is a standard ink. So it does not have any kind of shimmer, shading, or not shading, sorry, uh, shimmer or sheening or anything like that. Um, and there's no scent involved. And that is my hair, of course. My husband would tell you it gets everywhere. Uh, let's see. So this one is Jingle Berry. And again, that is day eight. It's a pretty color. It's kind of like a, like a pink or a fuchsia. Um, the next one is going to be, it kind of looks like a red from the label and from the name, Cardinal. And it is a standard ink, so it does not have any kind of special properties in it. And this is going to be for day nine. Oh, wow. That is a very... Um, a very bright bright color wow that one is shockingly um i don't know if it's because the paper is white that it's just really in your face uh, but that is a very bright color i will say that um the spiced apple is a very beautiful red reds to me are very hard they're kind of hit or miss you get either a red that has, it leans a lot of pink or it maybe leans a lot of orange. Um, but this is a very pretty red. I really do like it. And it is kind of unique compared to the ones that they've had in the past. So, I don't know. I like it. Um, this next one up is called Dusted Truffle. It is a shimmer ink. And it looks like there's some silver shimmer in the bottom of this. So this is going to be very interesting um, to see what this one looks like. I'm, I've been interested to see what this one looks like ever since I got it out of the box because um, I could see the shimmer in the bottom of the jar. And I was just like, wow, that one looks interesting. So that is an interesting color. Not what I expected at all. Um, not going to lie. I'm going to try to move this page up just a bit. Definitely not what I expected. Um, I honestly thought it was going to be a little bit more brown, which it is definitely, a, it definitely is kind of a brown color, but um, it also looks like it has like a little bit of green tones and maybe some gray. Um... But again, this one is called Dusted Truffle. And it's definitely changing color as it's drying, too. So, it is a very unique color. Um, they did they did pretty good so far in this, in this calendar. Um, I'm kind of blown away at the wide variety of colors. Um, maybe they've taken, taken feedback from past ones I'm not sure but I know that in some of them people were kind of complaining because there was either like a lot of reds or a lot of browns like one I think we seriously had probably like four or five browns and it was it was a little bit much like we had like a gingerbread and then there was a bunch of other ones um so yeah definitely a lot of brown in one of those this one's going to be another green so you're probably going to see a lot of greens in this one because it is the green edition. I don't really know if that's why they call them that. Is because whatever edition it is, it's going to have primarily more of that color. Or if they just call it that because that's the color the packaging and the bottles are going to be. I'm really not sure. But wow, I absolutely love that green. Um, I'm a huge fan of green absolutely love the color it is one of my favorite colors well it's not one of them it is my favorite color um and that green is absolutely amazing i don't know how well it's showing up on the paper um or translating to camera from paper but it is very beautiful um very vibrant doesn't have any special properties or anything so it's not a shimmer or a sheener or anything like that but it's definitely a beautiful color 
and really, really vibrant. So the next one is going to be called Memory Lane. And this one's going to be day 12. It looks like this one is a shimmer. I'm definitely thinking that this one's going to be purple just from looking at it. And it looks like that shimmer is probably going to lean pretty silver. So we're going to give it just a little bit of a quick shake to mix things up a bit. And see what this one looks like. It's going to be definitely a muted purple, kind of like a, almost like a lilac. Um, man, I wish I could think of the name of that color. It kind of reminds me of a bridesmaid dress that I remember seeing. Cannot think of the name of it, but it's a very pretty color. This one is going to be called Memory Lane, like I said, but we're going to write it down here. And that's day 12. Very pretty ink. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of Sailor Menyo, um Nico Yanagi. Yon, Yanagi. I can't remember and I'm probably butchering the name. I'm so sorry. Um, but you ink lovers out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it's the Sailor Menyo color that's purple. That starts with Nico. <laughs> Um, but yeah, very pretty ink. Uh, the biggest difference that I can see between it and the Sailor is, of course, the Sailor ink has got that, um, different undertones. It's almost, you know, it, it changes colors. It's almost like a chameleon color. Um, and this one has shimmer, so it's definitely got some silver shimmer in it, but it is a very pretty color. It's a light purple, um, but for you purple lovers... So far, we've got two. I wouldn't really consider this purple. Some people might. I think that's more of a pink or a fuchsia. Um, and so far, we only have one blue. So, let's dive into day 13. I'm going to set this aside for right now. And get another piece of paper, since that one has ran its course. Okay, so day 13, oh, we get a blue. This one is called Upon a Star, and it is a chameleon one. So, we're going to do a quick shake here. And let's see, we'll use the end of this Q-tip. Oh, this one's really pretty. Wow. I feel like Owen Wilson. Wow. Wow. Me and my husband joke around about that all the time. Every time one of us says, wow. But that is a really pretty blue. The interesting thing is how, how much the colors change after they go down and they dry on the paper. They look so much more different than they do when they first go on the paper. When they're really, really juicy. <laughs> okay. Upon a star. So that one's very pretty. It is a beautiful blue. It has a lot of shimmer. There's some sheen. The sheen kind of looks a little bit pink reddish color. And the shimmer is looks like a mixture. Um, there's definitely some green shimmer. Maybe some silver and blues in there. It's definitely a different one that's for sure it's got quite a few different colors in there the next color that we're going to be looking at is three kings it's a standard ink um from the label i'm not really sure if this one's going to be a yellow <sighs> kind of looks like it. it could be a gold but it is a standard ink there's no um no special properties or anything on this one no shimmers or anything crazy so this one's definitely going to be a yellow. It is kind of a pretty yellow, though. Um, I like yellows like that. It's almost kind of like a... Um, I really don't want to say mustard, because it's a little bit darker than a mustard. Um, but it's very pretty. And I like the fact that it's... Um, 
it's not so like a like a sunny yellow I guess is what I'm trying to think of or like the really really bright yellow that you see in the Twisby Eco um, just because sometimes those I feel like you have a really hard time seeing them on the paper a lot of times people have a hard time reading them um, they have their place I'm sure in everyone's arsenal of inks especially if you're an ink lover but uh, I definitely prefer like a yellow that leans a little bit more towards like something like that. This one is going to be called Pick Me Up. It is a scented and a sheening ink. Looks like it's going to be brown. But we're going to dig in and find out. This is day 15. Oh wow. That one is uh, very beautiful. I kind of got the, the Q-tip very wet with that one. So I'm trying to kind of go into a, a couple of different places just so you can kind of see what it looks like. The scent. Oh, d dear. That is different. Hmm. Wow. That scent is very unique. It's not overpowering, and everybody is probably going to get something different, no, different notes from this. This is definitely not like the first one. And it kind of dies down as soon as, like, the cap has been off for a few minutes. It's a very, very unique smell. Um, not a bad smell. It, I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little bit taken aback by the scent of it. It kind of, <laughs> it's, um, like, the spruce one, you knew... It's going to be kind of piney, um, like, like a pine tree or a spruce tree, a spruce pine. Um, and it definitely had that kind of undertone to it, but it kind of was a little bit commercially. Um, it's not really like a pure pine scent, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, this one is very unique. It, when I first opened it up, it kind of reminded me of pipe tobacco. But then the longer that the lid was open, it kind of has subtle notes of chocolate. So this is a very... <laughs> this is a unique one. Um, I think a lot of people are probably going to like the way this one smells. I could be wrong, but um, I like it better than I do the spruce because... Um, I don't know. That one to me just... Uh, it, it smelled good, but... You know. There's a lot of things out there that smell like pine trees. Um, and that probably do it just a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, that one, that one smells really good. I like that one. And the browns are really pretty brown. It's very deep. It is very reminiscent of chocolate. I'm actually going to do a sniff test. Um, you can still smell it on the paper. But it's not overpoweringly strong. I'm actually going to smell the spruce. Um, that one has all but dissipated. So if you're if you're somebody that's worried about strong smells and that's deterring you from getting the the ink vent, I don't think that you'll have to worry about that. I don't think it's going to be something that's very overpowering to cause you to get like a headache um, or anything you know of, of that nature. So day sixteen is going to be a sheen and shimmer, and it's called serendipity. I honestly don't know what this color is going to be until we get it on the paper. It kind of looks like it could be a blue, like a deep navy. But it almost kind of looks like it's got some, I don't know. The labels on these to me are always a little bit misleading. Because sometimes they look like they could be cobalt. And sometimes they look like they might lean a little green blue. This one is definitely navy. And it is it is a juicy one. I don't feel like I dipped it that much. And it is a very saturated ink. So if you like saturation and you like those deep hues then you're probably really going to like this one. And I just realized I didn't shake it up that much. Shoot. Um, I think I was still excited from the scented one before. <laughs> um, so the shimmer in this one kind of looks a little... Maybe a little silver as well. This one's a very beautiful color, though. Um, as it's drying, 
you're getting to see the the color transform a bit but it is very very pretty it has a reddish looking sheen but it's a very different type of red that I've seen it's not like your typical really bright red but that's a very pretty color I like that one the next one that we're going to be looking at is day 17 it's a color called flame and it is a standard ink so no special properties for this one I have a feeling that this one's probably going to be a orange just because of the name and from the way that it looks in the bottle definitely an orange and a very pretty orange so far color could change a bit once it dries but that's a very beautiful color just going down the paper right at first very very pretty this one's day 17 and it's called flame yeah that's a very very beautiful orange I really like that um, it kind of reminds me of an orange that is one of my favorites from J. Arbonne. Um, I will butcher it because I do not speak a single lick of French. I, it's their orange soleil or something like that. Um, I'm probably totally saying it wrong. Uh, somebody out there will know exactly what I'm talking about though. It kind of looks like that at first when it goes down the paper, but now that it's drying, it's definitely a bit more muted and less of that orange pop um, but it's still a pretty orange the next one I'm really excited to see this one is a chameleon ink it's called olive swirl it is going to be a green and I just have a feeling that I'm going to love this one the shimmer I'm looking at the bottom the shimmer looks a bit multifaceted it looks kind of green but it also looks like there could be some like reds or oranges I don't know this one's this one's different let's pop the top and take a look okay yeah this is beautiful but I told you guys I love green so if you're not a green lover you may not like a lot of these um, but I definitely love green and that's a very pretty green. I like olive colors anyway. Um, and that type of green. So yeah, that one's very pretty. This is day 18 and it's olive swirl. If I could spell correctly. Um, I'm going to bring it just a little closer to myself so I can see what the shimmering properties are in it to give you guys an idea if it's not showing up on camera. The, the, the shimmer, now that it's out of the jar or the little bottle, actually looks quite green itself. But it is a very, very pretty color. Um, colors that they selected this year are definitely a lot different than, previ than previous years. Um, cause I've had the past two, I've had the red and the blue and I can honestly say that this one, the range of colors is quite different than previous years. So we have another blue, this one is a navy. And, uh, let's see, this one is called Silent Night. Um does not have any special properties this one is a standard ink this is going to be day 19 silent night I feel like some of these are kind of um, Christmas Carol based you know or like Christmas um, like holiday lyric based some of them are not all of them, but like Jingle Berry, you know, Jingle Bells. I just kind of get that feeling that a lot of these are like that. Um, let's see. Day 20 is a Chameleon and a Sheen. It's called Arctic Blast. It is a blue. So we're going to give it a little bit of a shake here because I definitely forgot to do that with the Serendipity and it didn't really pick up a lot of the 
shimmer colors. Some people don't like shimmer. I don't really mind it. Um, now that I'm, I've been in the hobby for quite a while, I don't really care about it as much as I did when I first started. When I first started fountain pens, I felt like I had to have all the shimmers. Um, now it just doesn't really, I don't really, I could really go either way. It doesn't really, you know, matter to me so much. Okay, that one's Arctic Blast. This one's very, very bright blue. Um, it kind of reminds me of... It kind of reminds me of the Jack Frost that they've had in the previous years, though. Um, I'd have to really put them next to each other, but... You know, it just uh, looks like a very bright blue with blue shimmer. And uh, some maybe like pink... Sheening is what I can see. So, this serendipity, um, I was going to mention this one right here. The sheen on it kind of almost looks like a copper. Like, in a way it looks red, but it looks like a very deep red. Like, almost a copper color. So, that one is definitely kind of interesting. All right. Let's check out day 21. This one is a standard ink. Looks like it's going to be a red or a pink, maybe. Not really sure. Um, it's called Cozy Up. Definitely not going to probably be one that I'm going to like. Um... It's a little too muted for my taste. Um, and I like I like lighter colors. Like I like the gray ghost color that they had. But I'm not very big on muted reds. Um, or stuff like that. I just. It's not really my, my cup of tea. They have this. It looks like it says C-O-S-Y on here. But that's not cozy. Maybe it is. I don't know. I think cozy is spelled with a Z, but I could be completely wrong. Um, yeah, this one's definitely a muted red. It almost leans, as you can kind of tell, like over in this area, it almost leans like a little bit pink. Um, but it's definitely got that edging, you know, like the darker areas. So it's it's a unique color. It's just not something that I could see myself really using a whole lot of like when I look at these colors I kind of base it off of what I buy this whenever a full bottle is available that one would probably be a definite no for me um probably this one would be a no um I like this color but in all honesty it kind of reminds me of garland just a little less green more blue uh, this color, I've, I've already expressed, you know, I really like that one and the Pick Me Up and the Three Kings. I think that these are all really unique kind of colors. This one's not so much the color as it is the smell. Um, so, yeah, those are definitely a couple of favorites. The Silent Night is a very beautiful um, navy. And then, of course, I've already told you guys I love the Apple Teeny. Dust of Truffle and Alpine are both... Very lighter colors, but I really like them because I think they're kind of unique. And um, Spiced Apple, Yule Log, Ghost, and Solar Storm are all really beautiful. And I actually kind of like this Cardinal and the Bliss. I like a lot of these colors on this page. Um, I don't have a lot of space down here where I kind of went a little too far on this one. So I'm going to switch it over to another piece of paper. Um, just to continue on with the, the colors that we've got left. So we don't crowd it too much. So this is going to be day 22. We are almost done. Before I do this, I need to actually see this one is a shimmer. And I didn't shake it, so hold on. Before I get ahead of myself. This, um... Shimmer is very unique in the bottom of this one. 
it almost looks like a pink or like a copper but a lot of this is going to be kind of misleading until you get it on the paper it can be hard to tell what color is what until you actually see it hmm not very pretty like a dusky purple almost like an eggplant color And this one is called Deck the Halls. And I'm only using a ballpoint for safety. Um, not for safety. Uh, for time's sake. Um, just because I don't want to have to uncap and recap. Um... Which, if you're going to go ballpoint, this is a really good ballpoint. It's one of those Uni Jetstream multi-pins. Uh, let's see. So, Deck the Halls. This is a very interesting color. I think a lot of people are going to like this one. Um, it's a purple that's not exactly, um, you know, anything to fuss about. But the glitter, the shimmer that's in it, is very beautiful. It's like a... It looks red, like maybe a red, pink. No, I could be wrong. I don't know. It kind of looks like a, it almost looks like a purple, but like a different tone of purple uh, shimmer. I don't know. This is very unique. I like that one a lot. Um, the next one that we're going to go to is day 23. It's called Celebration. It's also a shimmer. And this one kind of looks like it might be a pink or a red. In the bottle it looks like an orange. But that's the case for a lot of red and pink inks. Sometimes they do that. This one could be orange. Who knows? I mean, it's pretty saturated, but it's definitely a light color. These are the kinds of colors that just don't really do it that much for me. Um, I don't know why. I just, they're just not really my favorite. I think I like things that are a little bit more saturated. Unless it's something that I intentionally buy that's a lighter color. Like the Sailor Mano or the Troublemaker inks that are... What do they call those? Um, they're not chameleon inks. I can't remember. I can't think of the name of it. Um, but just the colors that are really, really light and light multi-tone. Um, those are just... They're, you know, I have like the intention of buying it. Like I know that's what I'm getting. So those to me are just a little bit different. Um... Bring it close to me. The shimmer looks like it is definitely a gold type of shimmer. Um, the deck, the halls, now that I'm looking at it, since it's a little bit more dry, I do think that the shimmer in that is almost like, it kind of looks like a pink or like a dusky mauve um, type of shimmer that's in the purple ink. So it's very pretty. I think a lot of people are really going to like that one. This one is day 24. It is a standard ink that is called One More Sleep. So I guess one more sleep before Christmas Day. That's a very beautiful blue. It kind of looks like the label is purple. But, um, well, I guess it could be blue. Like a periwinkle blue. I think the metallic on the labels kind of make things a little bit more misleading sometimes too. It looks one way, but it's really something different. All right, one more sleep. Now the next one is the last one. And with the last one, you do get a bigger bottle. You get a 30 mil. So this one is Best Wishes. It is a green ink. It definitely has some green shimmer in the bottom. 
So this one is going out with a bang, so to speak. Give it a good shake. The One More Sleep is beautiful. Uh, the more it dries, the prettier it gets. I like colors that do stuff like that. You know, they they look one way and then you get them on the paper and give them some time to dry and they look completely different than you thought they would. It's always kind of a nice surprise. I'm trying to take this one, make it a big swatch just so we can get an idea because it definitely looks like it's going to be a dark ink. And I want to be able to see what all kind of colors is in this one. That one's interesting. Usually Day 25 is like a ink that is kind of, I feel like, one of their bigger hits. Don't know that that one is going to be for a lot of people. Um, it could be, but it seems a little bit underwhelming for it to be Day 25, if that makes sense. Um, my hair again, sorry. Um, it's definitely a green. That's for sure. And the shimmer has definitely got green undertones uh, to it as well. It looks like there might be some other shades of, besides just green, like maybe some golds. Um, the green shimmer is definitely a more vibrant green than this is, which is I'm sure is intentional. And strangely enough, this color is rubbing off on me. I sat here and said I didn't really like colors that were very muted like that, but that's actually a very beautiful color. It's almost a pink salmon type color with really beautiful gold um, shimmer in it, and it's actually very beautiful once it dries. So a lot of these inks, you really have to give them some time to actually dry. That was the other thing too, was like this cozy up. It looks completely different now that it's dried as well. It definitely looks like it's a lot more pink. You can kind of see it close to the celebration. This one definitely looks a lot more like salmon color. Um, so yeah, this is all 25 of them. Um, best wishes. I just, you know, I don't really love it or hate it. It definitely has some sheen. Uh, the more it's drying, it definitely has a sheen. It looks kind of almost like a brown copper sheen. Um, so it's a pretty color. It's just not something that I think I would go out and buy, um, personally. Definitely like this color a lot. Um, and I actually do like these two quite a bit. I think I would buy full-size bottles of all three of these. Probably just not this one. Um... And then, of course, we'll revisit the second page. This was 13 through 21. Uh, Silent Night was gorgeous. Really like this one and this one and this one. Um, Flame is a pretty orange. But this one right here, it's a very beautiful blue. I just feel like it's been done a lot. Um, and, like, we're just putting new names on it. Um, not trying to bash, you know, Dime Mine or anything like that. It's just how I, how I feel about it. It just, to me, it looks like I've gotten another Jack Frost. Um, which you may feel differently. But that's just what I can see. Um, Upon a Star is very similar to this one as far as like the sheen and the shimmer. The biggest differences in these two is that this one's definitely a brighter, more vibrant blue. And this one has some more darker undertones. And the shimmer in it looks more um, multi-tonal. It doesn't really look like... You know, just like a silver shimmer or gold shimmer. It definitely has multiple colors. That's why it's probably the chameleon. And then as far as revisiting the first page. Um, not to sound like a broken record, but you guys know which ones are definitely on my to get list at some point. Um, whenever they come out with the full size bottles. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I just wanted to do a quick review of all the different inks. Show you what they look like on paper. Again, the paper that I'm using is um, Endless Recorder paper. Um, this was just some of the tear-out sheets that's in the back that I used. I had a scrapbook on hand and I uh, figured I would tear a couple of pages out to use just to kind of give a good idea what they look like because this paper holds up pretty good to ink as you can tell. Not really a lot of bleed through except a little bit 
uh, you, it's almost through that one. Um, but that one was laid down pretty thick. But in uh, the brown, almost a little tiny subtle specks of bleed through. But overall, the paper, this paper holds up very, very well. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And uh, let me know what you think of them. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, the best wishes. I will say that it gets prettier as it dries. There is definitely some unique properties in it. But it's just... Uh, it's one of those colors, I guess, you can... I would say I expected more. But again, it is very pretty. And there's definitely some browns in it the more it dries. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that if you picked up the infant that you like it. It's everything that you wanted and more. And I hope that if you're thinking about getting it, this will help you decide. Thanks again. Have a good one.